They had set night watches, watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angels stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I am here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has just been born in David's town. A Savior who is a Messiah and Master. This is what you are looking for. A baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth who please him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the shepherds talked it over. Let's go to Bethlehem as fast as we can to see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and a baby lying in the manger. Seeing was believing. They told everyone they, they met what the angels had said about the child. All who heard the shepherds were impressed. Mary kept these things to herself, holding them dear deep within herself. The shepherds returned and let loose, glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they had been told. And the scripture is exactly where this um, program will take off. The shepherds are so excited about the birth of the, the newborn king that they are causing a lot of disruptions and they get arrested for disturbing the peace. Um, this is a little different than, we, it's a different than we've ever done before. It's um, pantomime. So the actual words are going to be coming over the intercom, and the students are going, the children are going to be acting it out. So it's a little different, but I think they've had a lot of fun, and I think maybe they've learned some stuff too. Okay? Let's go. Shepherds on the hills, I saw a wondrous sight. Angels came from heaven, shining through the night. Satan filled the crowd with praises to the king. Shepherds brought the one and two, your angels sing. Noel, Noel, the king is born. Noel, Noel, the king is born. Shepherds were out of their heads. No well, no well, the king is born. No well, no well, the king is born. Truth, the whole truth, and 
nothing but the truth. I do. State your name. Sophia Busybody. <laughs> Ms. Busybody, please tell the court where you were on the night in question. Well, I was sound asleep in my snug little bed minding my own business for once in her life. <clears throat> when I heard this terrible pounding at the door, those three lunatics, objection! Sustained. Just the facts, ma'am. Ahem. Well, they were so rough and dirty and they smelled like soggy sheep. They were running around and waking everybody up, shouting, The Savior is born! What a commotion! They should be locked up. Objection! Sustained. <laughs> I have no more questions for this witness. Cross-examine? Not at this time, Your Honor. I call Mrs. Gatalata. <laughs> Do you promise? Of course, honey. <laughs> Mrs. Lata, please tell us what happened on the night in question. Well, I had a dreadful start in the middle of the night. A group of ruffians came pounding at the outer gate. I sent my servant to get rid of them. But instead, those hooligans abducted him and forced him to go with them to a musty, dirty stable to see some peasant's baby. There is no place for their kind in our community. They're a menace to society. Objection! Uh, uh, sustained. <laughs> Well, I'm finished with this witness anyway, Your Honor. No questions. I call Dr. Sigmund Fruitcake, renowned psychiatrist and expert in the field of angelic delusions. Do you promise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Dr. Foodcake, have you examined these defendants? Yeah, I could not get them to stop talking. They were highly agitated, and all three of them reported to an angelic vision. Such delusions is not uncommon among shepherds. We suspect they are caused by inhaling sheep breath. As you know, sheep have very poor dental hygiene. This condition is clinically known as halitosis psychosis. The symptoms is confusion, delusion, mania, and uncontrollable evangelism. And what is your opinion of their reported encounter with angels? An angel certainly wouldn't talk to these ignorant shepherds. It is my professional opinion that they are several camels shy of a full caravan. No further questions. Cross-examine. Yes, Your Honor. Doctor, do you believe that an angel would appear to the smartest person around? Certainly. Those angels, they have no dummies. Do you know the story of Balaam? Tell us, Doctor, who saw the angel first? Was it Balaam? Or was it his donkey? Objection! Uh, 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 overruled! Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. The prosecution rests, Your Honor. Are you ready to present the case for the defense? Yes, Your Honor. For my first witness, I call Josiah, son of Jacob. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, it's God's truth, I'm telling you. Of course. Now, Josiah, where were you on the night in question? My brothers and I were on a hillside near Bethlehem, watching our father's sheep. <laughs> Suddenly, a dazzling light shone in the sky. But we were so scared that, that we fell down and covered our heads. I heard a voice that said, Don't be afraid. I've got good news for everyone. 
Your Savior has just been born in the city of David. You'll find the baby all wrapped in strips of soft cloth and sleeping in a manger. At last, I was brave enough to look up, and I saw the sky filled with angels singing and praising God. Cross-examine? Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine?
Yes, Your Honor. How many times in your life have you spoken to angels, Josiah? I wasn't speaking to them. They spoke to me. And do you really expect us to believe that God would send an angel to talk to you? The angel said the news was for everybody, and I'm part of everybody. I don't understand all of God's ways, but I'm sure about what happened. I'm through with this witness. Several camels short. I call Abel, son of Jacob. What happened next? Well, when the angels had gone away, my brothers and I decided to go to Bethlehem and look for this holy baby. We searched and searched. Do you have any idea how many stables there are in this town? But it was worth it. What do you mean? Well, it was just as the angel told us. We found the baby lying in a manger with animals all around. Would the congregation please turn to page 217 in your books and sing the first three verses, first two verses of Away in a Manger with us.
No more questions. Um, no questions. Now I call Seth, son of Jacob. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? My mama says I wouldn't know how to tell a lie. Did you go to the stables with your brothers? I surely did. Mama calls me tag along because I followed them everywhere. Well, where did you go after you left the stable? We were so excited, we ran and jumped and skipped and hollered. Like the angel said, this was good news. My mama says everybody should hear good news.
Those are all the questions I have at this time. Uh, cross examine. Oh, yes, Your Honor. Seth, you said you were jumping and skipping and uh, hollering. Did you make a lot of noise that night? We surely did, but we didn't mean no harm. Well, did you wake people up? My mama says there's a time for sleeping and a time for being wide awake. And this was wide awake time for sure. Mm hmm. So you were disturbing the peace, weren't you? There was enough peace in the stable that night for everybody in the whole wide world. Mama says God's peace and love should be shared. Your Honor, I don't think we need to take up any more of the court's time. You just heard this defendant confess to disturbing the peace. I'm inclined to agree with you. Does the defense attorney have any more witnesses before I make my decision? Your Honor, I just received word that a foreign dignitary is in the courthouse. He has information concerning this case. Very well. Proceed. I call to the stand His Excellency, Baltazar, advisor to the governor of Persia. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Now, Prince Balthazar, please tell the court how you serve the governor of Persia. I consult the stars and make note of happenings in the heavens. And what brought you to Bethlehem? Some time ago, some other royal astronomers and I each observed the same new star. It announced the birth of a king right here in Judea. We followed that star to Bethlehem.
What did you find in Bethlehem? We found the baby in a house with his mother, Mary. We fell to our knees and worshipped him. Then we presented him with gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Afterward, Mary told us about some shepherds who visited on the night Jesus was born. Have you ever seen these shepherds? No, but Mary told us they were dancing in the streets and singing praises to God. It seemed strange to us that the whole nation didn't join them. The very creator of heaven and earth sent a star to lead people to the birthplace of Jesus. This court should be celebrating the birth of the king, not putting these men on trial. In light of this testimony, I ask that the charges against my clients be dismissed. Your Honor, I object. Objection overruled. Who are we to argue with God? If God sent a star, and maybe even angels, to announce the birth of this baby, then Jesus must really be someone special. We should all be jumping and shouting in the streets. Case dismissed! <laughs> to Joy to the World on page 246 in your hand now.